But a company behind Missouri's marijuana recall poses a legal challenge to the state's regulators. Delta Extraction had its license to manufacture cannabis products revoked in November, and now the company has threatened to sue the state over its recalled products. The company believes that the lawsuit could gut Missouri's marijuana regulations. The company, with 20 employees located at the end of a dusty road from Dusty Road near Pacific, seems an unlikely candidate for upending Missouri regulatory's framework. But behind the scenes, Delta is anything but an underdog. Missouri's state senator, Nick Schroyer, said Delta hired the big guns to win its, ca- to win its license back, including longtime Jefferson uh, City attorney He's Hartfield and Lowell Pearson. Delta was willing to admit it violated regulations, but wouldn't admit it imported a hemp-derived THC concentrate. Uh, Delta's extraction license was revoked for violating several rules, including failure to comply with seed to sale tracking requirements. And Delta bought hemp derived THCA from Florida and uh, heated it through a a decarboxylation process to turn it into Delta 9 THC, the cannabinoid most commonly known for producing a high. The Missouri Department of Health argues that the Missouri Constitution requires all marijuana to be cultivated in Missouri and that the Administrative Hearing Commission has no authority to prohibit companies from adding hemp-derived THC to marijuana products. A federal judge in Arkansas sided with hemp companies in September and granted a preliminary injunction on a state law aimed to regulate hemp-derived THC, and the judge said Arkansas could pick and choose which parts of the federal hemp program it wanted to follow. Uh, Schroyer said uh, many marijuana businesses are suffering from the recall, and he believes that voters wanted a marijuana program where all products were homegrown in Missouri. Aside from the legal battle, the case sets up another conflict because Missouri's marijuana cultivators would suffer if hemp-derived THC concentrate became available for a fourth of the price of Missouri-grown marijuana THC concentrate. But it would be a big win for Missouri hemp farmers. The hemp industry now has people like the marijuana industry's top lobbyist Steve Tilley and attorneys uh, Hartfield and Pearson and Alec Rosenbaum fighting for its interest because it believes their clients and the web of political ties runs deep. Delta Extraction is 50% owned by a joint operation, a management group with three principals, and the other half is owned by Ozark Highland Cannabis LLC, which uses Delta Extraction Facility to make its products. Delta has sold 700 liters of hemp marijuana distillate since April of 2022, making $20 million. And a company that purchased the recalled THC oil from Delta is now suing the state, arguing that its livelihood is suffering. Well, well, wow, man, they got the big guns going in Missouri, Yaro. Oh man, they got the right lobbyists, the right lawyers, and the and even the politicians aren't afraid to admit it. I was doing the math on that twenty million dollars for seven hundred and fifty liters. What does it come up to? There's some margin over there in that state. I mean, look, it, it's hard for me to feel sorry for people who purposely break the rules for financial gain. Mm-hmm. And I think that we look, we are a, a society that is uh, has done a good job of remembering that people make mistakes, uh, that uh, there should be a path towards redemption or mm-hmm. paying our price, uh, and that uh, sometimes people color outside the lines. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are uh, necessarily bad actors, uh, but, but if you're making $20 million off selling 750 liters, I, clearly there's a very strong incentive uh, to break the rules. I, I'm just, again, I'm not a big fan of the courts as a way to get our way. And um, so when I see these companies suing or litigating, my eyes roll up back in my head because I don't think that's the same as just making the best product at the best price with yeah. the best customer service, which to me is sort of the three legs of the stool for just being good at business. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm with you. But what do you think about this? I mean, because it sounds like a hemp company owns part of Delta Extraction. And it also sounds to me like uh, like, like that, that they may be successful in, in getting hemp-derived concentrates to be able to use them in THC concentrates. 
So I I heard that that company owned like 50%, but I wasn't, and it said that that company was a customer, but I didn't know that that meant that company was a hemp company or a cannabis company. So I'm assuming, you know, maybe- I, I, I'm assuming it's, it sounds, it sounds to me like it is just based off the whole story all around. I, I'm assuming that. I, I think that we have two major problems. The first is cannabinoids should be regulated according to whether they get people loopy or mm-hmm. psychotropic or get you high or whether they don't. And if they don't get you high and we're talking about some CBD, well, by all means, make more bath bombs and tinctures and whatever. And I don't think that needs to be regulated much. Mm -hmm. And if it gets people loopy, if it has a psychotropic effect, if it can get somebody high, then it doesn't really matter whether it comes from cannabis or from hemp, it should be regulated based on the effect it has on somebody who consumes it. And until we get to that place, we're gonna have these problems with underregulated hemp, overregulated cannabis, cannabis operators and businesses that have jumped through all of the regulatory hoops that have put a ton of money into their uh, into standing up their businesses and who are going to see uh, lower cost cannabinoids from hemp as a threat and are, are, aren't going to want to participate in the mm-hmm. in the opportunities that come by navigating these heavily regulated state specific programs. And so I understand that and and I get that hemp to quote Joanna Cedar, is just cannabis without offense. But as long as we've got intoxicating, non-age-restricted products being sold in gas stations and who knows where, the hemp people kind of got to start really getting their shit together in respects to self-regulating so that they don't have to be over-regulated because they're taking ownership for the fact that some of the things that come out of hemp uh, shouldn't, should not should be age-restricted and should be more, more regulated. I just think that, um, you know, for companies that are in regulated cannabis, Allowing uh, inputs that are from the hemp-derived uh, market, um, it doesn't seem like it's a level playing field that way. I don't think it. I, I, I agree with you. I don't think it. I don't think it is either. I do not think that 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 bodes well going forward. But but whatever. I got I got I got one more short little story for you, 